Hey, this is Artifacts Productions here. In this video, I'm going to show how to customize your Windows PC to enable third-party themes. This means you can change your desktop theme from the default arrow theme to something a little bit out of the ordinary, like this. As you can see, the theme has changed. This is not the default Windows 7 arrow glass theme. Instead, this particular theme is called Longhorn Arrow BXM. If you like this theme, I have provided a link to it in the description. Of course, this is not the only theme you can download on the internet. There are tons of different themes you can choose from. If you're having trouble finding some custom themes, you can always check out DeviantArt.com or the links that I have provided in the description. Okay, so at this point, let's assume I don't have any themes installed on my PC yet. How would I put custom themes on my computer? Well, by default, a Windows PC cannot install or enable third-party themes. As you may have guessed, Microsoft programmed their operating system this way, probably as some sort of security measure. So you'll need to patch your system using a program called Universal Theme Patcher. Again, look below this video in the description box for download links. Once you have downloaded Universal Theme Patcher, you'll have to run it. It's kind of imperative. A window should come up on your screen like this. You'll have to select your language. For me, my primary language is English. Next, you will be presented with a system report. Just press yes. The final screen that comes up will look something like this. It might look different if you're running Windows Vista or Windows XP. All you have to do is patch all your system files. I already patched mine, so the patch button is grayed out. You will also have the option to restore your original files if you want. Patching your system should only take a few moments. When it's done, you'll be greeted by a dialog saying that your system has been patched successfully. If you're worried about patching your system, you can always create a system restore point, which, in the unlikely event that something goes wrong, you can restore your computer back to the way it was before you patched it. But you shouldn't have any problems with the theme patcher. If you really want to create a system restore point, then go to your start menu. Right click on computer. Select properties. Then from the left side of the window, select advanced system settings. Go to the system protection tab. And finally, go to the button on the bottom that says create. You will have to type in a description such as patching for theme. That way, if you run system restore, you will know which restore point to select. Okay, back to the universal theme patcher. So, once you have successfully patched your system, you will be required to restart your computer. Restarting your computer will allow the patched files to take effect. Once you have restarted your computer, go to the folder containing the custom theme that you would like to use. Select all the files, right click and press copy. Next, you need to paste those files to your themes folder. Go to the start menu, click on computer, Go to your local hard drive, which for most people is the C drive. Next, go to the Windows folder. Find a folder inside it called Resources. Then, find a folder called Themes. Right click on an empty part of the folder and select Paste. You may be asked for permission to write to the folder. Just press Continue. Then, double click on the theme that you pasted and voila! Your theme will automatically be applied. And that is how you install third-party themes on your Windows PC. This is Nick from Artifacts Productions. If you like this video, feel free to comment and subscribe. Until next time, see ya!